read a lot and then I uh, found this play, The Rover by Afra Bean. He is a rough person. He comes from sea. Mm. He is all about the women. He is uh, one after the other. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's a fun character to play. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> Uh, I play uh, a character named Wilmore, or alias the Rover. He's an English cavalier. It all revolves around him, and uh, th the big plot is that there are two different women. Uh, one, uh, a woman of quality, uh, of Spanish descent. Her name is Helena. Uh, she's supposed to be a nun. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, my character says this one sentence, there's no such sinner as a young saint, which kind of characterizes what, what Helena is like, because she is, she's supposed to be a nun, everybody wants her to be a nun, but she, from her personality, does not fit that role at all. She's um, squirrely and, and uh, goes around, uh, wants, to, wants to discover life and not be, be uh, uh, locked up behind walls has gone out during the carnival to enjoy herself and find love because she doesn't want to be a nun. Uh, and the other one is a famous courtesan. Um, her name is Angelica Bianca and um, he's intrigued with her also because uh, she's so expensive he can't really afford her and that's what tickles him, I think. Uh, Wilma tried to steal my picture or, or he did steal my picture, I'm not sure. And, um, I, I want to speak uh, with him why he did it since so. And um, by talking to him, I fall in love with him because he's so charming. And um, so that's this one plot. Then we have uh, the sister of Helena, uh, Florinda. What an impertinent thing is a young girl bred in an ennui, half full of questions. Um, my name is Julia. And um, my name in the play is um, Florinda, and yeah, I'm I'm the sister to Helena. Pretty no more, Helena. I've told you more than you understand already. The more is my grief. I would fain know as much as you, which makes me so inquisitive. Nor is enough to know your lover, unless you tell me to. Who does he sigh for? Although I'm Helena's sister, I'm quite different. I guess I'm, though I'm older than her, I'm more thoughtful, I, I like to listen to advice and though I'm in love with Belleville and it's not quite easy and I really want to marry him, um, I'm quite obedient and I, I'm not that wild as she is so I'm, I'm rather the, yeah hard to say, I'm, I'm rather the quiet character I'd say. When you're a lover, I think you fit the secret of that nature. I was never a lover yet, but I began to have a shrewd guess what is to be so, and fancied very pretty to sigh and sing and blush and wish and dream and wish and long and wish to see the man, just as you did when my brother brought home the fine English colonel to see you. What do you call him? Don. Belleville. Oh, by Helena. <laughs> <Mist>. <laughs> okay, they're going off and having sex. That, that's what happens uh, sometimes during this play. And you, you c there's really lots of um, talking that obviously refers to sex. Uh, after it was out, times changed again, and that the play, I think, was uh, too bold uh, for later times, actually. So, knew about the scene, and I just love my head off, because it's so funny. I mean, it's, it's a little bit hard, maybe, if you, you hear it the first time, to get all the jokes, but there's so many jokes in there that I think everybody at least must get half of them. And so, yeah, I, I like the whole play.